Hello guys, what's up? Just kind of do like some chill makeup and kind of talk with you guys. What's going on? I have a random background color, it's blue. I like blue, so that's why it's blue. There's really no rhyme or reason besides the fact that I want to have a blue. I'm gonna take my glasses off, barely be able to see you. Probably should have cleaned them before, but I didn't. I usually don't like doing makeup this late because I feel like it's a waste. I'm gonna do it anyways for y'all. Just gonna go through the steps because I have done not one step of my makeup skincare routine. I took a shower as far as I got today. Clean my house, had maintenance people come in today, had some conversations with some friends because I'm going through some things and I'm not usually the person to put my feelings out there, put myself out there. I'm very uncomfortable with that. I have a very high, thick, cemented wall where I put my emotions or hide behind. Reasons why my banner is the way it is, I don't, I'll show you my Facebook, but I mean my YouTube. But I designed the font, the butterflies. I made butterflies because my favorite, I just love butterflies. My favorite color is purple. And I like to do a reference to butterflies. I've just always had like a resonated with butterflies. It's just a thing. I believe in the Urban Dictionary, my name means butterfly last time I checked. A quote is just something I really, I'm so, I'm in my cocoon and I'm very kept to myself. I'm a very private person. Um, I used to be fun and outgoing and great and like trusting and all this stuff, but like life and events, things, people in my life have kind of torn that from me. Wore me down, I guess to say. Sorry y'all had to listen to that. Hopefully I edit that a lot. Revitalizing Rose Mist. Love it, you'll see it in every damn video because I love it. Yep. And this is like the fourth bottle that I have. And this spritzer is amazing. Moisturizer, which is a new moisturizer. I have one that I loved, but I think they discontinued it. Of course. This is the one I used to use. Can you even see it? It's so freaking bright in here. This is the Garnier Skin Active Ultra Lift Miracle Wake Up Cream. It has like anti-fatigue in it, which it did wonders for my under eyes because I don't use an under eye cream. So I chose this one. It's Garnier Skin Active Moisture Rescue Refreshing Gel Cream. Normal to combo skin. Does not have the fatigue factor in it or anti-fatigue. Looks like this in a glass bottle. If you hear my husband yelling, he's playing Apex. He's like, oh shit, budge. It's, it's like this green texture. I hate that it's just like straight up open. I wish it was a pump like the other one. My favorite primer ever is the Ulta Beauty one. Poreless face primer. So good, like so, so good. Mineral oil free, paraben free, smooth and refined pores. I'm just gonna like wrap this in here. Primer I use is the MAC Prep and Prime. I always use this in my videos. It's the Cover Effects palette. It's the Perfector Face Palette. And it has highlighters, brightener, two highlighters, brightener, finishing powder, and contour, and blush. It's pretty, uh, pretty roughed up here. It's Pretty gross. Do you guys do makeup every day? Do you actually put like 10, 15 minute slot in the morning or whatever, like during the day and do your makeup? Is that like priority for you? Like daily makeup? I've been slacking on that. I've been loving my face and being lazy at the same time. I don't have a problem with my skin. I will go out like this. I think I look fine. Granted, I have more fun and I feel feistier and like more outgoing and silly and blah, 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 and fun. When I have my makeup done, I just follow my brow. My brow is pretty awesome by itself, so I don't need to kind of improvise it all. I just darken it up. But see, I like both sides. It's nice when you have the brow fixed. You know, just darkened up a little bit. Brows are very important. They frame your face. I like my brows currently. Not too thin, not too big. I've been through a lot of brows. I can always make a look with Pure Cosmetics Festival Palette. Does anyone else love the palette? This is what it looks like. And 
It's one of the best palettes that I own. This is one of my go-to favorites. This is what the <laughs> my Korean palette looks like. Um, it has like a dark brown, bronzy shade, gold shade, a pink, champagne shade, a go-to. It's called Epic. It's over here, yeah. Epic. Uh, I hit pan on it because I use it so much. It's a great transition shade for this palette. It's got glitters. The glitters do kind of, they crease and like, they're not the best wear-wise if you're going to wear them for a long period of time. But the one I'm going to use today, it's the Violet Voss Essentials palette because it's such a colorful palette that it wouldn't be something that I would describe as a very everyday go-to neutral gals kind of essentials like in my head I think essentials would be what like a beige crease shade kind of like a champagne all over the lid shade something very basic I love the writing and the the packaging in here because it it's plain and simple of what it is like it's very to the point the writing here okay and then there's the palette is the writing has all the colors from the palette in it so you're not getting a surprise which is nice it has Cream, sand, terracotta, gold, emerald, pink, dusty rose, plumberry, cinnamon, and black. And it's actually quite fantastic that the names are very simple. I love the simplicity of this palette. Sure, I do use a color switch. It works. Use a color switch, you just kind of put your brush through it and you'll be able to change colors without having to use 15,000 brushes. Take the finishing powder from the FX palette. I use that to set the eyeshadow primer. I'm gonna do sand. I do it a lot faster and like the placement and my blending is a lot different. It will be a lot different than yours uh, if you have if you don't do this every day and you're like just freshly starting. Like, I'm used to it and I'm comfortable with throwing eyeshadow around on my face. I've been doing this for like eight, nine years, like on and off, like doing my own makeup. I take terracotta, which is the orange shade in here, putting that in my crease. I would take cinnamon. I'm gonna use this to like deepen up the outer. take gold. Anyone else watch Kathleen Light's little improv joke video of The Bachelor? I think it's hilarious and I'm so a Capricorn. Keep to myself, stay out of drama because I'd rather hide in my turtle shell. This is why YouTube and recording just doesn't work out for me because I'm just like me. Take the shade cream. Put that underneath the brow. I've always like a good frostiness. Could do the gold too. Mascara. Y'all, I don't really have a perfect mascara. My dog's snoring because he's awesome and he would do that to me. All right, so we have the Better Than Sex that I, that's usually my go-to, um, but I do make a mess with it, which aggravates the crap out of me. Most likely you'll probably be using this one. Then I also have the Big Ego from Tarte that I can't figure out. I can't get it to work for me. It's not voluptuous enough, put volume in enough, it's not enough length, it doesn't stay very well, it kind of flakes off, makes my eyes itchy. The packaging is cute, it's like this vibrant pink, it's very cool. It doesn't do it for me. This one I do love, the Tarte Gifted, but mine is way old. Three months is usually the expiration date for mascaras, you could throw them on and get new ones. Uh, so I need to throw this one out because it's super dry. I also have this red Aspen Pump It Up Maggie Mascara. Works great. Uh, it's not waterproof though. So it, they say it's water resistant. It just comes off too easily if my eyes start to water. Wonder Beauty. Uh, mine's just old. I should probably throw it away. It's a pretty nifty um, container packaging. Uh, it looks like that. But mine's old so I'm not going to use it. So I have to throw that one out. Superhero by It Cosmetics. I remember hating this when I tried it. Freaking ooh, we want Club City. We'll do it because it's nighttime and I'm washing off anyways. 
What's the proper way to do mascara? Go blinking and shake it near your lashes. Hope for the best. It's like really thick. We're gonna zoom you in so you can see this travesty. Oh, it's just tossed all of my shit. Usually if I let them sit for a little bit, then it like kind of dries the formulas out a little bit, which makes it better. I feel like it's really not making it better. The brush is just too clumpy. I kind of do some stuff so I can see the difference. It's not too bad, not too bad. I use the red Aspen Glam Bam liner. I love it. Typically I pull my lid down. One-handed, y'all. Foundation that I use currently is the Revlon Colorstay full cover. I'm going to apply. I'm just gonna, I go over my redness. It's like right here. And I'll just do the middle part of my face. Of course, my husband's at PS4. He's the loudest thing in our house right now. It's all the way downstairs. I usually actually run this underneath my eyes too. Pimple on my chin. That's irritating the crap out of me. I really don't put that much on my forehead either, really, guys. So this is the time where I'm going to go back and I'm going to take my brush. I'm not going to add anything on it. Oh my god, my battery's going to die. Alrighty guys, so I'm back. Basically the gist of the stuff that I used that I did not show you. Bronzer contour was the milk chocolate from Too Faced. Anastasia Beverly Hills Trio in Peachy Love and I used the shade Miami, which is my favorite shade ever and it's a orange peachy color. Favorite one so far, I've been using that nonstop. Highlight I used the Laura Geller highlight. This one is the Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator in Peach Glow. Who thought of that name? It's too long, don't do it. Not my favorite, because I like more golden, warmer highlights like uh, Precious Petals from Wet n Wild. Lip gloss is just a lip gloss we got from BoxyCharm, which is the Appeal Holographic Lip Gloss. I just wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys have any you know, questions or comments or concerns, please feel free to comment down below. Appreciate you all watching the video and it was great talking to you and showing you kind of this fun little quick look. And I'll catch you in one of my next videos. Bye guys.